Hey you guys, it's Amory. I'm Sage, you know the soul. Um, why don't we sage our soul today and get some messages of healing, hope, and clarity for those of you who would like it. I'm going to switch decks here. I've been working with my magical spirit oracle, which I absolutely love. It's very powerful. Um, why don't we uh, switch decks here, get some messages. I'm like switching it up a little bit. Spirit is saying... There's maybe some messages people don't want to hear. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? The archer. <laughs> Biding your time, planning ahead. The mas <laughs> masquerade. Hiding your true self. Projection. Well, <laughs> I live with the cards, don't lie. There's somebody possibly, you or somebody in your energy that's kind of biding their time because their mask is falling off. I, got, I think I when I pulled these cards before, I got a similar message a while ago. But they're hiding their, their true self. The mask is falling off. The stuff that they have projected out, people are not picking up on it anymore. Meaning, they're not allowing the projections. You'll notice when someone's always talking about someone or always putting somebody down or whatever, it's actually the reflection of them and what they've been doing to the, the person and you're the person. And so if you've been, my video for some reason all of a sudden is getting really lag. I've been having a hell of a time being shadow banned and all of these uh, fake accounts. My one video I posted and within an hour there was 150 bots, fake accounts or whatever it is um, that liked this video. Um, or watched it or whatever. But anyway, um, so this person is trying to bide their time. They're trying, they're trying to tap into your energy. They may be trying to get readings on you or do some type of divination to kind of plan ahead to feel, to, to determine what you're going to do, how you're going to do it so they can get ahead of the game. But we all know that we're divinely protected and spirit's not going to allow that. Spirit may give, uh, their spirit team is going to probably give them false direction, false information. And this is what is going to make the mask drop. They think that they know what's going on with you. They think and feel that they keep coming against you and trying to get more and more people to go along with this false narrative that they've spread about you that's going to take you out and take you down. But we know that's not the case. This is the energy of them. They're trying to repaint the picture that was been um, painted about them or shown about them. It's like their mask drops and they like to hurry up to put it back on and then try to repaint it. It's like they change their mask depending on which group or people that they're around. They present like they're this family person that they're caring and that, oh, I don't know why this is, these things are happening in my life. I don't know why I'm getting sick realizing it's their karma coming back to them. It's their magic work or their spell work, whatever, coming back to them. It's backfiring back to them. And it's because they're fake. What else can you tell us about this spirit? the vibe of this person. We already know the vibe of this person, but it's like they may have um, unhealed motherhood wounds. They may feel as though they could never please their father growing up as a child, Spirit just said. That they're not enough, they're not good enough. There's unhealed parts of them, and so they try to take what they perceive as healed parts of other people and make it their own interesting kind of bitter angry petty yeah they're very angry and they're very petty obviously I mean what kind of an adult would do this type of thing but a petty adult right and they're getting really angry you may need to take a seat a Himalaya sea salt bath too spirit is saying get away you little monster and spirit and the more you shine the more you do what you do the more you're you know full of happiness and joy it angers them it's like the more you just continue to show up. That's why Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to hide yourself. It doesn't matter if you're under attack. It doesn't matter if all these the inner, the, the negative energies or the dark entities jump from body to body. You know, the, the spirit of envy, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of whatever it is that um, aren't for your highest and greatest good. It doesn't matter if they jump, jump you know, place to place. It's not going to affect you. But it's because... You have all this joy and happiness, and Spirit wants you to continue to show that in your walk in life, whatever it is. Spirit has shown me if you have a, an online presence to make sure that you're still showing up. We have <laughs> laughter, happiness, joy, healing, right? Continue to heal. Continue to find joy in everything that you do. That's what they want. Because if you falter, 
It doesn't say not to have bad days and not to go through emotions, okay? I'm, if you just say, fuck it, I give up, this is too hard, they're always coming for me, they're always doing this to me and all that, then this person's mask is it, th that won't fall, basically, is what peer, the spirit is saying. But you walking in your purpose, walking, whatever the path is for you, it actually defies what they've been saying about you. It drops the mask because everything that you embody, everything that you are is complete opposite of what this person has been saying and try to paint this picture of you that's that's furthest from the truth. And by you not showing up, by you not speaking up, by, by you kind of going back into a corner and hiding yourself, then the narrative continues. Now, it's not your job to sit there and say, I didn't do this, I didn't do that because your actions, your character speak volumes. You don't need to use your energy to, def to defend yourself. Now, if this is like a court case or whatever, yeah, defend yourself. But I'm saying, you know, there's always, always when you're of the light and you walk in the light and you have a purpose, there's always going to be things trying to attack you. That's just what it is. And it's not, it's not to be a fear mongling and say, this is always the way it be. So it's just how it's going to be. The stronger you become in your light, the more you heal, the more you gl glow and grow, the more you recognize what your energy is. You can feel when they're trying to do it and you can counteract it. You can counteract it. Again, Spirit has shown me again that you need to take a salt bath. You need to take a Himalaya sea salt bath. Put some rose petals in there. Put some uh, other herbs that you're called to in there. Put a rose quartz in your water. Um, I don't know where it's at. It's stored in someone's house, but I have a big, huge piece of rose quartz. And I remember when they did, they called them the brown outs when I was living in my apartment. It's always the people in the poor neighborhoods, but it, this is one of the poorest neighborhoods I lived in here in Columbus, the Linden area, and they did a brownout where the fucking electricity was shut off, and it was so god-awful hot. It was in the middle of the summertime. It was two summers ago, and was it last summer? Yeah, and no, it was the first summer I moved there, but I had a baby pool. My neighbor gave me a baby pool, and I knew I had to do a salt bath because they were coming for me, and I had a big piece of rose quartz. I literally put it in the baby pool and took a bath under the full moon. When given lemons, make lemonade. Make orange juice. I just heard. Add oranges to your lemonade. <laughs> yes, I was going to say consequences, bad choices, games, mixed signals. Yeah, this person is suffering the consequences of their actions now. The games they played, the petty games they played, the backbiting, the talking about you and trying to get a, trying to get a group of people to come against you. You know, this person, if you're not sure who it is because you've been attacked from all areas of your life, it's the person that was giving you mixed signals. They may try to put you in situations like triangulated you. There was other people in the group that they probably talked about to try to get you to go against. Someone they saw it didn't work. They then got rid of you or stopped calling you or stopped wanting to hang out. And then they, you know they were with this other person they used to talk shit about all the time. Um, that's just one example. But their bad choices are catching up with them. And what they're saying, instead of them admitting it and taking responsibility because they're not going to do that because they're un, unhealed childhood wounds that they have and their own insecurities they have, that they are saying that you did something against them when in fact it's just fucking karma. It's, it's a shit backfiring. It's, it's everything backfiring to everything they've done, not just to you. Spirit has shown me that, that you're not the only person they've done this to. You're just the one that fought back. Good job. Good job. Do we have... Good job. What's our sacred soul wants to know with this? We got a little... Uh, one minute. We can, what's your sacred soul wants you to know about this situation? You are dope as hell. Go ahead. I just seen some... <laughs> you, I'm not laughing. I mean, I am laughing, but it's like... Wow. You've been through some shit. Look at you. Good job. I am not this hair. I am not this skin. I am the soul that lies within. Hell yeah. Beneath the surface looks can be deceiving. Right. They may have thought because you were kind and nice and joyful that you weren't this badass high priestess. That you weren't the, you, you didn't walk with the divine. That you were the descendant. You are a descendant of the divine. They didn't know you had royal bloodline. They thought they could just get over on you. Spread these false narratives. There is the male cardinal right in front of me. My last reading, the female cardinal was right in front of me. Hi, guy. Get some water. OMG. Your ancestors have spoken. Your loved ones have spoken. Quit allowing these people to play in your energy. The tables are turning for you. You are the divine, and you are divinely protected. I love this for you. May you be happy and healthy, full of joy, you guys. May you love and be loved. Heal. Don't harm.
the Cardinals have spoken to.